Hi boys and girls. Here's first craft we're going to make today in celebration of Easter. That's the holiday that is happening at the end of the week. Do you know what Easter is? That's right. It's a celebration of when the Easter Bunny comes. And let me ask, does anybody have the Easter Bunny come to their house? Or have you gone to see an Easter Bunny in your neighborhood? That's so cool. We had the Easter Bunny pass by here this weekend. He came by in a truck and he was waving to everybody. I hope you have a very nice Easter this weekend. But until then, why don't we start with our first craft today, which is a bunny mask. I sent you in an email a picture of what the mask looks like and what you need, what the supplies are that you will need to do the mask. So you need a paper plate, you need some white paper, and you need some black construction paper that you need to cut into strips. So what you do is you take your ta paper plate, like I did, and you cut out the center to make the space where your face will go for your mask. That's what I have here. Next thing you want to do is you want to take your white piece of paper, you want to fold it in half, and you want to cut using the straight edge at the bottom to be the straight edge of the ears, you want to cut like so in a circular motion. And you will have, when you are done cutting, you'll have to have a grown-up help you with that task. You'll have two bunny ears like I have here. The next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have nearby a pair of scissors, which your parents will be in charge of, and your craft glue. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take our pink pencil. It could be a pencil. It could be a crayon, which is what Mrs. Everhart's using today. It could be a marker. And you want to color in your ears any way you'd like. You can color the whole ear in, or you could just make the interior ear pink. So take your crayon, and this is where all your imagination comes in. You can do different colors. You can do different kinds of pink, some reds, whatever you'd like to do. Next thing you want to do after you're done using your crayon and coloring in your ears, you want to take your glue and your paper plate and you're going to glue your paper plate and your ears together like this. Just like that. Okay, terrific. The next step is you want to take your, ideally you want six strips of black construction paper. If you want to make your whiskers straight, you'll need six strips, three on each side of the bunny. I'm going to take some glue. Just move my tape down. And you're going to glue it to your mask. One. Two, and three. The next step, if you want to have curly whiskers, Mrs. Everhart took six strips of construction paper, and this is where you're going to need some help with a grown-up. You're going to take your construction paper, and you're going to treat it a little bit like curling ribbon. You're going to put it in between the teeth of your scissors and you're just going to very gently like this and your ribbon curls so you can have curly whiskers. After you've made a few of those, take your glue, put it on your mask, and you can glue your curly whiskers on. And you can make them long curlies or you can make them short curlies. This is where I'll your imagination comes in. Okay. And then you're all done with your mask. So what you do when you're all done is you take your mask and you put it on your face and you are the bunny rabbit for this weekend's celebration. Okay. Talk to you soon with the second craft. Bye-bye.